Hi guys and welcome back to Pro Speed Baseball. Today we're going to be taking a deeper look into Raldus Chapman's technique, one of the fastest pitchers of all time. We're going to talk about how you can create momentum with the body to add to the speed of the arm. And if we do this correctly, if we have the proper stride and we start out with momentum, we're going to be able to add a lot of speed to your pitching mechanics, add a lot of velocity. And there's a couple things that we need to do. One, we need to have a long stride, which is going to help us to release the ball farther forward. For every foot you release the ball closer to the batter, it's going to appear in his eyes to be three miles an hour faster. So if we can pick up a long stride, release the ball very far forward, we're going to add some velocity. It's going to make our pitches even more difficult to hit. And then number two, we have to go from the top of our leg lift to the foot plant very, very quickly. And, and Nolan Ryan, another one of the fastest pitchers of all time, you know, said it's not about how long you can stride. That's not, that's not all it's about. It's about how quickly you can get to your stride or move through your stride. So if you can go to point A to point B as fast as possible, plus pair that up with a long stride, you're gonna to have tons of velocity, gonna be very difficult to hit, and you're gonna transfer a lot of energy out to the arm. So let's go ahead and get started and talk about how we can do this. All right, so we're gonna talk about three keys to focus on here as we're working on this. And remember again, we're trying to get a long stride and we're also gonna to try to get a very quick stride. Now the body, I've marked the center of the body here, and your trunk, which basically would be from the hips, <clears throat> from the hips up to the top of the shoulders, this would be considered the trunk, everything in this rectangle here. That's the big part, that's the mass of your body. This is where most of your body weight is. And we need to realize that whenever we move the trunk, it's gonna take some time. There's a lot of mass there, a lot of weight. If he weighs 200 pounds, I'd say 140 of it is in his trunk. And if we wanna move that quickly, we have to do that by starting out with the correct momentum. So let's go ahead and look as he goes from the starting position up to the top of his leg lift. Again, I've marked the center of his body here. And notice as he gets to the top of the leg lift, if I mark the center of the body again, notice how his momentum has already started forward. Well, what this means is that he's already starting forward with his trunk. The, the heavy part of his body is already starting forward as he gets to the top of the leg lift, which means as he begins to stride forward with the leg, it's gonna be all that much faster to transfer that energy forward. If we start by hanging back, which we'll, we'll see people, uh, I've definitely seen people do this as I analyze pitchers. Instead of having the shoulders level and the momentum moving forward, they may have the shoulders already tilting back a little bit and their weight is a little farther back now this could be because you know a lot of people were taught to balance at the top of their stride instead of moving forward. Well, if I do that, my weight's back here, my trunk and my heavy part of my body's back here, it's not moving forward. And when I try to stride very quickly, now I'm out of position and I simply can't do it. No matter how strong or how fast I am, if I don't have momentum of my body moving in the right direction, I'm simply not gonna be able to do that stride correctly. So as he gets going to the top of this leg lift, he's already got the momentum going forward with his body and now he's in a position where he can stride very quickly. Now the second part of this is we gotta, we gotta get a long stride. All right, so we've started to stride forward. This is gonna help you to get a long stride and also increase the speed of it. We're gonna pause a few more feet forward here and we'll, we'll go ahead and just mark the back of the rubber so we can see he is transferring his energy quite a bit forward. Let me go ahead and do, oops, the camera moved there. Let me go ahead and show Here's the center of gravity in his body, right about two inches below the belt buckle in the center of his mass. That's the center of gravity at the top of his leg lift. Now let's go ahead and look at the center of gravity as he's moved a couple feet forward. Look how much it's dropped. Look how much the center of gravity has dropped. So he's really getting low. And the reason this is happening is he's bending this back leg. He's loading up into this back leg so that now he can really accelerate forward. So look how fast he goes from here to here that's because he's got that leg really loaded and he can drive off that leg and extend that leg to get the, the biggest stride possible and the quickest stride possible. That brings us to the third point. Actually, before I go to that, let me show you a different angle with his back leg so you can see just how much this is bent and how he's doing this. Now, when looking from this back view, we can see here's the top of the, the leg lift and the, the back leg, his left leg, the right leg for your right-handed pitchers, is still pretty straight. It's got a little bit of bend in it. But as he starts forward, and gets, he lowers his center of gravity. Again, look how high his center of gravity is here. Look how low his center of gravity gets. And the reason for that, it's dropped about a foot, foot and a half here. And the reason for that is he's got a 90 degree bend in this back leg. 
So if you want to have a lot of power and you want to have a, a very lightning fast stride forward, you got to get this leg bent so that now you can drive forward from that leg. Now the leg is fully extended here and you're going to be able to get a lot of speed from that. Okay, so now we're here, we're going to take a look at the third point where as he's got this leg bent, he's ready to release. Now he's going to explode forward and he's going to extend from the hip socket. You can see this hip is extended, the knee is extended, and the ankle is extended. So he's completely gone off this back leg. He's transferred his weight forward because he loaded so well into that back leg. Now he's transferred all this weight forward. And this has got tons of momentum moving into this front leg. And this is, if you watched our other video talking about the kinematic sequence, all that momentum going into the front leg. Now he can slam on the brakes with this front leg, slow down his body by driving this front foot into the ground, slowing down the hips next, slowing down the shoulders next, and then all that's gonna be left, just like a bull whip, all that's left is the arm, and that's gonna crack through with tons of speed. And we can see because of this great leg drive and because he uses lower body so well, he probably released this ball about here, which is a good, you know, I would venture to say almost nine feet in front of the, the front side of the rubber. So if we look at that distance, that is a long stride, that's a long release, and, and more importantly, it happened very, very quickly. All right, so I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. And Michael has, has made a series of videos on pitching velocity, really ramping up your pitching speed. It's a, I believe a five part series, either a four or five part series. I'm gonna play a preview from one of those videos. And if you wanna watch that entire thing, you can go ahead and click the link that's on the bottom right hand side of your screen or down below in the description. That's gonna take you to a place where you can see that entire video free of charge, plus the entire series you're gonna get free of charge. So if you wanna start throwing faster, you wanna improve your mechanics, that's gonna be a great series for you to watch. I'd highly recommend it. Good luck to you guys. Good luck with your velocity and hope you'll, hopefully you'll be throwing it 105 just like Aratus. Now, if you like this video, also click the like button, post your comments below if you have any questions, and remember to subscribe to this channel. That way you'll be notified whenever we come out with new content. Good luck, good luck with that velocity. And do you feel a little weak when you're starting to throw the ball? You feel like your upper body's doing a lot of the work? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how you to properly utilize the stride to get your lower half into it and maximize speed in the pitching mechanics. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, so today we're gonna to talk about how to get the correct overall stride shape. Correct overall stride shape, simply put, is going to be our foot going down below our body, then glide across the clay to the plate. Okay, what, what goes wrong a lot of times with a lot of younger pitchers is they'll get up into this loading position and they'll kick their foot out real fast in an order to, they're trying to rush to get to the plate. Now, we don't wanna do this for a couple of reasons, but first of all, it's gonna get us, it's gonna, when our foot kicks out, we're gonna start leaning back to counterbalance and we're actually gonna create a reverse spine angle. We're gonna to have to overcompensate and we get a lot of high throws, a lot of low throws.